What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking about the Hunter exclusive hand cannon, the Ace of Spades. And I don't see this weapon around very much, I'm not sure if people are just not using it or if they haven't gotten it yet. And it's really easy, so I'm going to give you guys a quick guide on how to get this weapon. First, what you're going to want to be is rank 3 with the gunsmith. And what he's going to give you is this quest line, actually to get the st uh, steel piercer first. So what you're going to have to do is get 75 sniper rifle kills with a special telemetry consumable active. And where I did this was on the moon mission, the dark beyond. And once you get that done, and it has to be the sniper rifle kills, it can't just be a special weapon kills, it has to be the sniper rifle kills with the special telemetry and once you get that done you're gonna get a pop-up that says you know that you're done and you have to head back to the tower and talk to Banshee again once you talk to him he's gonna have you dismantle rare or legendary sniper rifles to salvage the parts that he needs and luckily I had uh, some extra legendaries and or rares in my vault so what I did is I just went to my vault and dismantled those and then you get your still here then you get your uh, steel piercer, and then right when you get that, a, another quest line is going to pop up where you have to get 100 hand cannon kills with a primary telemetry consumable active. And again, I went back to the dark beyond to do this, and if you guys don't ever farm this way, just make sure you don't kill the knight, and then, you know, just die after that and then you'll respawn there and then you can just kill like a bunch of the hive again because once you kill him that's kind of like the checkpoint so then you'll have to go through that mission over again and once you get that done you're gonna get like that another pop-up that tells you to go talk to Banshee and then you'll head back to the tower and what he's gonna have you do is dismantle rare or legendary hand cannons and once again luckily I had some in my vault where I just dismantled uh, these two these two legendary hand cannons and that's all I needed to do and then you head back to Banshee once again and then he will give you your ace of spades so that's how you do it it's pretty simple I know I went through that pretty fast it's pretty easy to get but if you want to know more about it I will leave a link to a more detailed video in the description box below if you guys want to acquire this weapon yourself and I did everything by myself, and it was, it was pretty simple, so you should be able to do it too once you get rank 3 with the gunsmith. So now that you guys know everything that you guys have to do to get the Ace of Spades, if you are a hunter enthusiast like I am, I highly recommend that you get this weapon. It's a lot of fun to use. The Firefly perk is always a lot of fun, and the Maverick perk is just really awesome. And as a hunter, you're just proud that you have your own, like, exclusive class weapon. Like, when I get kills in the Crucible, I want them to see that it was from the Ace of Spades. So there you guys have it. That is the Ace of Spades. I hope you guys found this video informative. If you guys did, please leave me a like. It does help my channel grow. And if you want to keep up with me, go ahead and subscribe if you'd like. For more Destiny videos coming up, I am having a... PvP review of this weapon and also a PvE review of this weapon coming up, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Haleon, and I will talk to you guys later.